term surfing the web is totally outdated, dude. But you know, the way we get our information from the internet hasn't really changed since we all started riding that wave. I mean, we're all surfing from one site to another looking for content we want to see and going back over and over to check for new content. I mean, the whole process is kind of gnarly. I mean, we've been surfing the web for years. Wouldn't it be nice to just lay back on the beach and have all that information come to you like a frosty pina colada? Well, that's exactly what an RSS, or Rich Site Summary, does. Now, don't be scared, this isn't complicated. An RSS is just the format that delivers a website's ever-changing content straight to you. And if you subscribe to that RSS feed, you can change the way that you surf the web forever. If regular surfing is like running to the newsstand to get your paper every day, then building an RSS feed is like getting a bundle of your favorite magazines and newspapers delivered right to your door. The first thing you're gonna need is an RSS feed reader. I like these web-based ones. They're easy to access and everyone can use them. Here's Google Reader. You've already got it if you have a Google account, and if not, it's easy to set up with a couple clicks. Once you're in, you can start adding your favorite content to your feed. Click on the subscribe button and enter keywords to help you find what you're looking for. If you know the name of the web address you'd like to add, just type it in and click add. If you aren't sure what you want to subscribe to or you just feel like browsing, put a couple keywords in here and see what comes up. Or you can click browse for stuff and find bundles of sites that have been selected by Google users and staff. And of course you can unsubscribe to any feed at any time. So far we've been adding all our feeds from inside Google Reader, but what if you want to add one from a site that you're used to surfing yourself? Just look for this. You'll find it on most blogs and websites you visit, and if not, just go back to your RSS reader, and chances are it will pop up in the subscribe box. Now that you're subscribed, whenever one of your sites has new content, it will pop up in your reader automatically. No more surfing around. Here's where you can see how many new posts have shown up since you last checked. As you scroll through, items are marked as red, and it's easy to share things that you like with your friends right here. And if you don't have time to read something right now, you can bookmark it for later. Such a more efficient way to keep up with your reading, don't you think? Now all the news that's fit to surf comes straight to you. And you know another web term that will impress your friends to no end. So to recap, choose the feed reader that's right for you, find publications to subscribe to from inside your reader, or click on this orange icon on your favorite site. Now just sit back, relax, and take a break from all that surfing, dude. Or you could just um, do your laundry so that you don't have to wear a rash guard as a shirt. Bye. Hope I have detergent.